In this video, I am going to answer one of the questions I've had for a long time about this simple trick for drawing a curve to make an arch, for example. And even though I have a formula that I can provide you with, and I will put a link to the video either in the video description box or at the end of the video, on how you can figure out the center point that you can use and the distance that it will need to be away from the line here to create the same thing, I'm going to go ahead and show you this old trick. And even though I didn't think it would work, after I made the video, I realized that I was wrong. So let's go ahead and get started. We have a four foot wide arch that needs to be seven and a quarter inches up from the horizontal line or this line here. And to do that, all we need to do is cut a board with an angle from this point here to this point here that will be seven and a quarter inches wide. Now, if you want it to be six inches, then make it six inches wide and of course if it needed to be 10 inches then this board will need to be 10 inches wide but the point for this angle here will need to come off of whatever center point you're using to the edge point here so that you can use this board here to create the arc and it will make a little more sense once we put these nails in here and these nails can be driven right into the center point or they can be moved over a little bit depending upon how precise you need to make this and that's actually what I'm doing here. I went ahead and moved it over. I didn't put it in the center here, but instead I moved it over to where the nail would be, even with this line here, or the seven and a quarter inch line, and basically did the same thing here. Now, if you are going to do this, I would make sure that you extend this side, maybe a half inch or an inch, and then cut it off later, or use a small block maybe to use as a replacement instead of the nail, and of course that block could probably be screwed to the top here and maybe angled here a little bit to create a smooth surface to slide our guideboard on. And of course here's a view right here of what it would look like without the arc. Seven and a quarter inches up, 24 inches to the center point here, or two foot to create a center point in between the four foot lines we have on each side. And then we can go ahead and reposition our guideboard and then grab our pencil. The pencil is going to go at this point here and we're going to scribe our line as we slide the guideboard to the left while keeping it tight up against the nails or blocks that you are using. And the reason why I'm going to provide you with the arc line is to provide you with an example of how accurate this method is and give you an idea of how they used to do this in the old days. And you can see right here where this is right on the money and you will just continue running the pencil at that point while you slowly move the guideboard over and keeping it tight up against the nails or blocks you're using. And as we move the board over, you can see where it's still lining up, providing us with a nice accurate line that we can use to cut our arc. So not too difficult to see how this works. And I was thinking about cutting the wood and showing you how this is done. However, once I got this far in the video, I realized that I'm probably not going to need to do that. And for those of you who need a little more help figuring out how to do the other side, just simply flip the board over and reposition it and then repeat the steps that we just did while sliding it along the nails or blocks and keeping the guideboard tight against those. Otherwise, you're not going to have a nice curve. And of course, that would probably be visible once you stood back and looked at the arc. You could probably see that it wouldn't be nice and curvy, I guess. So I can't say straight. That would be the wrong answer. And if I did my job correctly, you should now have another valuable tool for your carpenter's toolbox.